answering a couple questions from my viewers. One viewer asked if he should double track his lead guitars. My answer to that one, your passion, your song, your mix. If he wants, he could put his lead guitar completely to the right or completely to the left. But if he's going for the top 40 kind of sound, then he should do one track of lead guitar in the center of his mix. Use effects to give body and width. Why don't I do more mixing tutorials on my channel? So I have been learning from different YouTubers over the past few years. I think I followed Spectral Sounds, that crazy Canadian guy. I also follow this producer called Sylvia Massey who did all the tool stuff. And she is crazy cool. That's the kind of crap that I like. Making weird sounds in studio, like throwing a piano down a staircase with my really authentic, natural sounds. And then I've never had the opportunity to work in a studio with anybody else to see their workflow and what they do and the choices that they make when they're mixing. I have formed my own views on what I will do. So to teach somebody else what I do means that I might give them my bad habits and that in turn might be detrimental to their success. The mixing tutorials that I will do in the future will be for people that like my music and like the way that I mix my stuff. What is the Creative Passport really? That's a really good question. The Creative Passport is the brainchild of Imogen Heap. Go to the Creative Passports website, click on Ambassadors, scroll down till you see this lady here, Imogen Heap Recording Artist, London. Click on this little blue logo for Creative Passport, then it takes you to her public page. Now the thing about the Creative Passport, it is a service that is attempting to turn the music industry upside down. There are many things within the music industry that prevent artists from actually making the money that they are supposed to. Record companies have found ways of sidetracking the money that is supposed to go to artists and is going to get caught up in little boxes and lost within the industry so that the money sort of never really makes it to us. What the Creative Passport is trying to do is streamline the entire music industry so that ISRC codes and any metadata, all those things are going to really work in your favor because it's digitizing every aspect of the music industry. It is a really big endeavor. They are up against many odds. Many people do not want them to succeed. The more artists that sign up with the Creative Passport gives them more power. It's like signing a petition at this point. My song was rejected for generic beats. Is there any way to get around this? Okay, so when you get a rejection from generic beats on any of the music distribution platforms, most of the time they basically just tell you that they cannot distribute your music and you should use another music distributor. That is in most cases, that is what happens. They just flat out say, you're on your own, you have to deal with this. Every song on Spotify and Apple Music and all the music stores is basically fingerprinted. It's, it's something like a musical ID, like Shazam, if you have ever used the app Shazam. An artist uploads a new song onto any music distribution site. Those songs are put through that ID process. And once that song gets a ping or is flagged as a generic beat, all it simply means is that that song sounds very similar to another one, or it might be an outright copy. We are not too sure, but you have to know. And a lot of the times, one of the major culprits is that people use Apple loops in their productions. and they don't really change anything. So if you have five producers that use one of those Apple loops and produces a, a rap song, let's say, and one of those producers uploads his song first, the other four that follow in months to come will be flagged for generic beats because the first song that was uploaded is now the original. Anything else is basically a generic copy of that. If you are using anything like that, please modify it as much as you can 
so that it doesn't sound straight out of the box. I'm making a Spotify playlist for all the people that are subscribers to my channel and would like to send me their music for me to put on my Spotify playlist and I'm going to start promoting that very soon. So, come see me soon. <laughs>